Hi guys, your Retro Queen Gamer here with a Let's Play of Shadowgate. You know, in hindsight, unfortunately, it's not going to be this 1987, I think, version of Shadowgate. We are actually going to be playing the 2014 remake of Shadowgate. Uh, this one. Basically, it's not that I don't want to play the old school Shadowgate. It's that I don't know where my copy is. And I could emulate it. I mean, technically, I legally bought even three times. <laughs> um, I had uh, played this a little bit before, but to be honest with you, and the reason why I bought the uh, original Shadowgate three times is because I never beat it. And I never actually saw the ending and I never cheated myself by watching somebody else play it. I haven't played it in like two years, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna get stuck again on a few occasions. I'm hoping this time I'll be stubborn enough to beat it. If I have to cheat, I'm gonna hate myself for it, so I'm probably not going to do it. I think I, 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 I probably get about halfway through the game and then I get stuck. Um, if I remember correctly, that was the same with the original one, so this seems very true to form to the original. Um, I'm, I'm actually really excited to play this, you know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, you'll gather some sort of entertainment from watching me pull my hair out and struggle with trying to figure out how to get past certain areas. And I'm hoping my memory for the areas that I did get past will, you know, come to the threshold rather quickly. So, I don't know, without, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's play Shadowgate. Uh, we're gonna start a new game. Oh wait, before I start a new game, I want to show you guys this something. If you go to the options menu, they actually have all these commands here um, that will allow you to make everything like old school retro. Like, look at this. And when you go, it goes to the original intro. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> ah, it's so nostalgic. I kind of, I want to play with the new music, you know, just, just because, you know, but I mean, personally, I can imagine myself replaying it again with the old school music. Just because I, I remember this game having the most amazing music for, you know, old school NES type games, let alone being like a very early NES game, if I remember correctly, also. So, I'm gonna go back to normal, but. I mean, and, and I also think that the music so far, from what I've heard, has been very, very true to form. Like, even if we listen to this opening long enough, you'll hear that kind of intro. But much more melodic. You know, they, 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 they did a great job overhauling the orchestra, or the, the original orchestrated music. Um, I have played Shadowgate before, so... I am going with the classic. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm assuming normal is kind of like easy, and classic is like what it used to be. You know, where it would ass rape you, and you could get fucked and die, and get stuck if you saved in the wrong spot. Um, oh, maybe this was the difficulty thing. Uh, yeah, you see, I mean, and this is coming from a person who actually played this fucking game before. I tell you, I'm like, duh. <laughs> For novice adventures, gameplay is challenging, provides the longest time limits, direct hints, and fewer opportunities to die. For seasoned adventures, gameplay is more challenging, provides shortened time limits, limited hints, and more opportunities to die. Uh... Gameplay is the most demanding, provides shortest time limits, indirect hints, and the most opportunities to meet the Grim Reaper. <clears throat> and then what the hell is this Iron Man mode? 
Saving is disabled. Oh my god. Um, if I remember correctly, the original Shadowgate lets you save whenever the hell you wanted to, so... That's kind of like, make it harder than the original. The original one was really freaking hard. <laughs> um, since I've never beat the game before, I'm not a master. I'm just going to go to Journeyman. Um, because I don't play things on easy. Because we never do anything easy as the Retro Queen Gamer. Because I'm a stubborn bitch. So it goes against saying. All right, here we go. A hero's journey. A great quest. Hmm. Certainly it shall be these things. But for you, young Jair Kathaka, soldier of Windermere, could it not be so much more? In dreams, I have come to you. Beseeching, entreating. Ride south, boy. Take naught but a dirk, a torch, courage. I don't Ride remember. Ride south from Rivelin, around the southern arm, through the Waven Fairwood, past Myrithsath, beyond the citadel of Murlac Tor, and the spires of Gimdane. And the darkness of Tarketh's pass. <laughs> there you shall find my stone in wait. Under the shade of the mountain range, none have entered. Either on foot, on mount, on wing. Gatekeeper, the oldest of spires. It harbors that which has been spoken of in whispers. And ascribed to legend, Shadowgate, the living castle. But all is not as it should be. One of our own is now our great bane. A blight upon us. He has brought the ancient keep low, and it now lies fallow. It is there that you will find me, Blackmere of the Circle of Twelve. It is there that you will find this great quest. It is there that you will find yourself. I want to talk, but I don't want to mess anything up that might be spoken about. See, now this is interesting, because right off the bat, the original entrance into Shadowgate was... Um, it was the door with one skull, and this is a door with four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve skulls. So, right off the bat, you can tell that they changed it up a little bit. Um, there also was, like, no intro <laughs> in the original Shadowgate. You just kind of, like, started the game, and it was like, yeah, you need to go through this castle. You, you had no idea why, you know. You didn't know if Lackmere was the enemy, so it's kind of good in a way that he at least iterates that Blackmere was the guy who sent you on the quest and, you know, not the guy that you're supposedly supposed to f defeat who was the Warlock Lord. It's just, and whenever I hear the term Warlock Lord, I think of, like, the Sword of Shinar, but that's something else. All right. That you will find yourself, with Lackmere's words echoing about your head, you stumble a bit until the world ceases its lurching. You stand before the Gatekeeper Mountain, and an ornate door framed by a series of skulls is fashioned into the rock wall. Okay. Oh. Well, that would make reading easier. Yeah, I, I guess I completely forgot how to play this game. Alright, so how this works is you basically have take, you have look, 
You have speak, yeah, and use. Um, I'm assuming this is my inventory. Yep, we got the items, we got an archive, outfit, and spells. Um, it's funny because it says that you just come with your dirk. Uh, you don't get a dirk in the original one. You practically came nude, and I'm pretty sure you were like a wizard. Yeah. You didn't like have weapons. You literally went there and you might as well have well you, well, you went there with nothing. You had a torch, I think. Which is what we have. We have one torch in the friggin' rain. Alright. So, uh, this is a s helmet? What the hell is that? Thick green roots twist through the dense foliage. Okay. And you tug on the wet roots, but they slip from your grasp. A rather irritated voice emanates from the skull on the ground. About time you got here, pick me up and let's start this quest of yours. Oh. So, uh, skull talks. You nearly drop the skull when it begins to speak. About time, boy, you have no idea how long I've been here. You can call me Yorick. I have no recollection of how I got here, but I do know plenty about this castle. If you need help on this quest of yours, just speak to me and I'll give you a hint. And you didn't have no talking skull in the original Shadowgate, unless I always missed it. <laughs> Which could be possible. What the hell is this thing? An ornate stone archway? That's not what I was looking at. A metal key. Oh, that's quick. We got the key. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can use my dark on... The roots. There you go. And I take this stupid looking helmet. Alright, and then this is me, I guess. Oh, I can look at me. I look upon myself with apprehension. I don't think I would look at myself with apprehension. Uh, let's knock on the door. <laughs> I guess that wasn't going to work. Alright, the door is locked, so we obviously need the key. Open the door. Now, the original key was in a skull over the door. I remember that. Oh, what? what I can take all these skulls? You address the skull in a certain turn. Your comes to life quickly laughing at your embarrassment. Alright, I guess you're Yorick. Oh, I can hit Yorick. Oh my god. I should be speaking to Yorick, he interrupts. You better be sure you want my advice before you speak to me again. Because I'll be giving hints next. Um, okay. Well, the door's open now, ain't it? Do I put Yorick? I can't use Yorick. So, I guess he's not I'm imagining I gotta find three other skulls to stick up in here. Unless I take all these. Even though this is just a skull in the archway, you sense there is some form of power coming from it. Alright, so they're skulls of power. Your vision momentarily fades. There's something strangely hypnotic about the thing. Like, all these skulls have something up with them? I don't know. It's starting to say the same thing. Alright, so... Let's, let's go inside. Blackmere was a fool to send a child to do that which even the vaunted Circle of Twelve could not. Contain my growing power. Come if you wish. It makes little difference. Seal your fate within this living castle of the dead. No, no, we don't want to use the fucking torch. I want to use... Take it. There we go. Torches are very, very, uh... What is this? Oh, it's a sling. 
Oh, we had to open up some other door on the side the last time. Oh, and we don't have a map in this one, do we? We really gotta just... look around. The circular hatch is made of a strange stone set securely within a mortared base. A low hum of power emanates from within. Oh, here's our map. Uh, that is the weirdest freaking map ever. God, I can't believe how much of this game I forgot. I almost feel like I should lower the music a bit. Or is it just me? Music's already really low. I don't know. Alright. I almost exited out of the game. Alright. Um. A rug. The pattern on this once fine rug has been dulled by time. Its edges have become frayed and torn. Now, if I remember correctly, we can use the torch. Yep, on the rug. I guess, uh. Alright. What is this? I got a coin. Ancient gold coin, one that bears the faded image of a fiefdom long dead. Now, I wonder if I got the coin because I burned the rug, or if I could have grabbed the coins without burning the rug. <laughs> it didn't really look. A series of runes are etched into the archway above the walkway. Okay. Um, there is a lever here. Right, see, uh, strange pattern unlike anything you've seen is carved into the solid iron door. Is it open? Alright. Now I feel like... Alright, with a squeal of protest, the lever begins to move. A few moments later, a stone slides away from the wall, revealing an opening that holds a key. The door is locked and therefore will not open. A strange pattern unlike anything... Oh. Was <laughs> I'm reading the other crap. Um... Is it really all that simple? Oh, you can't use it again. Alright. Well, let's open up the bag and go to the key and use the key on the door. Alright, you struggle with both hands, turn the key in the stubborn lock, a satisfying click echoes through the chamber as you toss the key aside. Okay. And now we can open the door. Now, do we open this as well? Alright, this is magically sealed. Alright. Um, I'm sure we'll be coming back to all this. Damp, musty breeze wafts out from behind an altar set within the stone alcove. You note know that the long hallway continues further into the mountain. the scroll. Fandril, this missive is of utmost importance. We must coordinate our efforts. Seek my obelisk in the acolyte den below the sewers. I fear the worst is upon us, but I have plans in motion that may yet avert disaster. Lackmere. Oh, well, Lackmere sent me. So. I guess I can choose to take the scroll? I mean... I guess I can't use it. I'm scrolling what? I'm scrolling him. And you would expect it hasn't happened. The scroll doesn't do anything to the skeleton. Yeah, I guess I could take it. Might as well. In case we need to remember to go into the basement or whatever it was saying. Can we speak to the skeleton? You shouldn't speak to the dead. Or, um, wait a minute. Oh, so is your... You know, this game was also kind of scary and you know, the sense of being alone was very paramount in the original. The, uh, having the little skeleton kind of lightens up the atmosphere a bit. Um, do we open the skeleton? <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Your rough handling produces a piece of parchment and a scroll which you put in your pack. Okay, well, what did we get? Seek ye the black axe. The brittle parchment contains naught but a faded illustration of five words. Seek ye the black axe. Okay. Now let's open up this scroll. You read the message scrawled on the page. Brown, I have your dog. If you wish to see the flying ace again, then bring the skulls and the squash I require to the place beyond the pumpkin door, but be wary for only one outfitted for the hallowed eve can gain entrance. There you must carve my visage and illuminate the sacrifices before preforming. I think that's supposed to be performing. <laughs> uh, well, it was like an indie guy who did this. I know that the uh, game itself was on a Kickstarter. So this is a game made by a fan for fans, which is probably why it's a lot more accurate and a better concept of a remake than what we'll probably get out of Final Fantasy VII, unfortunately. Ah... Uh. Then I will be freed and this will all end. Cordially, DP. DP. That's outfit. Ah. I can equip the helmet. You place the oversized helmet. It is so large it nearly obscures your vision. So maybe I don't want to wear the helmet? Ah, eh, whatever. Ah, torch. Let's take the torch. Another torch over here. We're gonna take it for you. Um, all right. So that's death. Strange markings and glyphs line the stone pillar that enshrouds the statue. One that depicts a hooded figure with a darkened visage. Okay. So let's open the book. Something shifts under your feet as you open the book. Okay. Alright, um, look at the book. You scan the ancient manuscript, noticing most of the language is unintelligible. However, one particular word stands out from the rest, invoken. In your mind's eye, you see a glyph glowing with power and quickly write down the strange marking in your spell book. You have learned a spell. Yay! Uh, close book, take book look at book. Alright, now if memory serves correctly, I think if I take the book, I'll die. Because that's how this game operates. Um, I guess I could save it and take the book and see if I die. <laughs> actually, there's no point in taking the damn book. I mean, once you actually learn the spell, what's the point? Giving the skeleton a quick once over, you find no obvious cause of death. You do, however, have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, so this guy, you know, it's like the hint. You know, he did something stupid with the book, he died. You know. Um. Dance was these also. You note that the long hallway further into the mountain. So does that mean I can go that way? You're not really giving me an option to walk that way. Oh, what's this? Stand on the stone with your fist. Your pain is immediately rewarded as the rock fractures and crumbles, revealing an opening. Look at that! You force yourself through the narrow opening and into the darkness beyond. A figure moves within the opening at the back of the grotto. You hear the unmistakable twang of a longbow, followed by the whistle of an arrow. You instinctively jerk to the left and see a glint of silver as the arrow misses you and strikes the rock behind you, shattering into splinters. Well, that's great. Alright, so... I don't think I can do anything here yet. I want to see if any of these skulls have, like, runes or whatever on it. But it don't look like it. Well. 
Um, yeah, so I don't think any of these skulls are special skulls. One look at the cracked and splintered bones of the ribcage reinforces just how fragile life is. The hypnotic movement of the campfire momentarily mesmerizes you until a loud pop brings you back to your senses. Um, yeah, I feel like if I move... I'm gonna get shot at. I don't remember. I'm gonna save. <laughs> My game somehow got erased also. <laughs> I guess that just goes to show you how long it's been since I played. Although I thought Steam. Alright, so we got a flea card way that leads down more and of movement in the darkness opening. Something or someone is definitely up there. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go with my instinct and go back. We got another direction to go over here anyway. You note that the long hallway continues further into the mountain. Yes, you told me this. Now, can I explain? Oh, I can. Oh, area close. like some elaborate go to the next area. Alright. Oh, we can take this. No, it's just... Oh, what did we get? Finding dice, a scroll, and a gear. Alright. Let's open the scroll. While writing is difficult to discern, you manage to glean a few key phrases. The danger is real. Alert the surrounding land. Seal off the passages into the Gatekeeper Mountains. The wax seal shows an eagle in flight and is signed by someone named... <laughs> oh, Fandral. Poof. Alright. I got two gold coins. What the hell is dice? Dice like these are typically used by fortune tellers. Each face of the die contains a different symbol that, when rolled, can divine one's future. And this large gear has a series of runes and glyphs inscribed on it. Okay. Deep gouge and death blow from an axe, huh? Nothing that interests me, huh? Oh, look at that. Alright. I kind of thought maybe it was locked. Hi guys! If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please hit like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Till next time, see you on the flip side. Bye!